Good afternoon, your student professor, Dr. Don't forget me here. And we are in the process of con synthesizing our 27 by 12 matrix. <clears throat> and so far, we have done the 15 by 12, which is say, 1 to 15, from the basic unit, which is a 5 by 12, the amazing 5 by 12. So notice it's a 15 by 12, it was a multiple of 3, but it's one matrix. And now we are extended to the 27 by 12. And since the board was not in a uh, elongated position, it was not able to extend to 27, so we have it over here. But just taking consideration, this is an extension of the 15, we call it 16, 17 to 27. And once again, as we have said, we run out of uh, samples, serial samples here. And so we have to start making up some for more A. And so we have MBD, and I'm just basically putting now D, DM, <coughs> D, and putting arbitrary numbers here, you know, 1, 2, 4, 6, 9, 6, 3, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. It must have eight characters and three operators there. And we get some M something from there. Let's call it M3. Uh, let's call this one PH42963. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And let's have a D here. Uh, I'm just making up these really. Arbitrary uh, to work in our 27. And uh, this would take on an H. Let's say H1. So I have up to 23 and we're trying to get to 27. So let's make up some other uh, DD. DD. D, 0, 1, 0, 2, 4, 3, 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, uh, and this will take on a D something, let's call it D5, <coughs> and up to our 25th matrix, which will make it uh, 5 square, so we square the 5 by 12, 5 square, and let's put for this one, M, P, 1, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 1, 0. And let's have an H there, and this will take on a P something, let's say P2. And for a 26 matrix here, 26 uh, row, and 12 columns here, let's have... <coughs> LL two one six three one two zero zero and let's have a D there and this will take on say L something L twelve and for last let's take on now uh, uh <coughs> Or MS two four one zero three 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 one C and that's <coughs> and S seven. So here we have it or 27 rows and 12 columns making up a 27 by 12 matrix and we call this, let's write it here now, the sunflower matrix. It's a specialized real estate matrix here, sunflower matrix. And we put R. And over here, <coughs> we're going to put now stem. In which the 
S is science, T, technology and teaching, E, engineering and economics, and M, music, maths and medicine. So, what do you have? STEM, then we have STEAM. <coughs> Where the A is for architecture. Let's put you in. Architecture, astrology, aviation, aeronautics. <sighs> and for now, the last one will be stream, S T R E A M, in which the R equals real estate. So I've completed the amazing 5 by 12 matrix with its multi-dimensional applications in STEM, STEAM, and STREAM. And today, we have given you a practical example. Let's try to see if we could find any other uh, Support a little bit of this here for the moment. Okay. And the STEM, usually everybody knows what the STEM is really for uh, science, technology, and teaching, T for technology and teaching, E for engineering and economics, and M for music, maths, and medicine. In biology, we know that the stem cells are usually the, the blast, very fine, uh, minute, microscopic blast cell, pneumocytoblast, rectocytoblast, and so on and so on. But the stem here is an abbreviation for science, teaching technology, engineering, economics, music, maths, and medicine. And the STEAM is just an additional A for architecture, aviation, aeronautics, and the R for real estate in the stream. So there we have it, uh, amazing 5 by 12, 15 by 12, and the 27 by 12 matrix. All this need now is the operation to derive now the exponential, the exponential uh, <clears throat> outputs. And that is usually a relative algorithmic sort of a PDM processing that would achieve those uh, ends. So, uh, we have now the amazing 5 by 12 matrix, which is ex extension of 15 by 12, and the sunflower matrix, the 27 by 12, which the latter two are for real estate purposes. The 5 by 12 can also be applied in uh, uh, real estate, but uh, basically these last two are for real estate applications.